How to balance with these gliders. Obviously, it's a little bit different. Arms are just kind of relaxed and step, step, and step. Other side, always starting with the outside leg first. Front, front, back, back. Keeping the arms forward. So this one, you out, forward, out, and back. Once again, and in. So you're trying to come out quite wide. You can't slide back far enough to touch the mat. Then keep it shallow, maybe here. And hinge forward, come up, hammer curl, overhead, down and down. Turn your weights towards you. Hinge forward, stick your butt out, pulling in with the other leg. Now, if you want to, and it's in and back. In, your weight is coming towards your toes. It's a similar move, and as we do that, bring that knee in, up and in. Two, and one, and one. Nice job, guess what, other side. Can you do it? I can. So back and in, back and in. Then press your hips down as you circle your arm out. Always come back and then back in. These are tough. If you wanna do them on your toes, be my guest. <laughs> but I'm not doing them on my toes. They're hard enough and go slow. Out and in. It's tough. Out and in. Your abs. Out and then pull in. I want you to think pull in, bring your shoulder blades to the mat and then slide all the way in. For the hamstrings, forward and back. I want you to lean into that gliding disc up. So you really need to make sure your triceps, those hands, make sure your elbows are to the back, burning like crazy. Come on, in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. With the back leg, in and out. It's going to be a pike up with a straight leg. Pike it up, lighter, and continue. Just normal mountain climbers. Bring that heel in to your glute, stretching the back of that leg, stretching the side body. So all of those arm sweeps we did, that's fine as long as your shoulders are on the mat. 